All right, hey collective, no pre-shuffle today. I'm going straight in. I need a straight shop vector. Now I do hope everything is going well out there for you guys. The energy is subsiding. Things is getting a little bit calmer for you, I hope. I presume. Because it's been a little rough out here in these streets, y'all. But let's see what Spirit got for you today. Now the, the car, uh-oh, Spirit is ready. All right. Now we got the river and the judge. Now because it came out like this one, I'm going to take this one first. The river and the judge. Always the one closest to the deck. Now guys, I appreciate you so much for all your support. Liking, subscribing hitting the notifications for all leaving those comments because it does help so much and i really appreciate you thank you thank you thank you if you're new here please do subscribe i would love to have you i try to bring what's gonna help you resolve your situations your issues i do my very best at it But let's see what's coming out. Now, I do feel a big shift coming. I feel it. Now, the judge is here. And I see a lot of people, you know, going up the river, coming up out the river. You know, I like to say pay attention to what's going on in the media. What's this card? The Eternal Child. And we're going to take this one, which is the forest. And the temple is at the bottom of the deck. Now, it's so funny that you have the Eternal Child in the temple. And I'm just paying attention to the hand. Like all the cars got hands in them. And I do see a helping hand. I see you extending your hand as well. And love and friendships. And I know it's sometimes hard, you know, to put yourself out there due to past relationships, circumstances, the things that you see that's going on in the media. But you always gotta remember. That we are not alone in this booth. And it's a lot of people out there that's searching for these genuine friendships just like you. And that's the one thing you got to keep present in your mind. Because the lower self or other lower forms want you to feel that that's not possible. When in essence... It is true that you can have that. You got to believe that. Not to say that you need to be out there seeking it, but just to know. It's always to remain open. You understand what I'm saying? Not that you're searching, but open. Because you pull in that frequency. I think we got our three cards right away. And you got the karmic board clearing. The heart of the source right here on the judge. And that will be you. And stellar gateway activation right here on the forest. And what a wonderful place to get that activation right out here in the forest. Now, sometimes, it just came to my mind that sometimes people can't see the forest for the trees. And pretty much what I was just saying. So, I'm going to read these cards out and see how they um, coincide with one another. Now, this was in our last reading. 
the Vajrayan Galactic Council. So I think that this is pretty much congruent. <laughs> Cohesive. An add-on, if you will. So you might want to go check that out. All the readings are timeless. So feel free to binge watch. Okay. Remember, share the video, like the video, leave a comment. It does help me to pick up on your energy. All right. Love you. Thank you. All right. Now let's get the books out here. Let's see what's going on. See what the river is talking about. And it's so amazing that it's lining up with karmic board clearing with the river. And what a better place to get rib uh, clean, cleansed, baptized, if you will. <laughs> the river it will be the places I'm assuming. One thirty-one. Now, maybe Spirit had me to save these cards for a time such as this. Because, you know, I had brought them a while. I kind of used them a couple of times. But not too much. Hmm. Such a time as this. When you need it the most. And it says, there's a reason so many rituals of change and rebirth take place in the river. It is forgiveness in body and physical form. Without asking anything in return, the river washes away what is no longer necessary. I'm about to cry, y'all. With this karmic word cleansing as the clarification. Smoothing over sharp edges and accepting all our mistakes and grievances. Once we step in, we are no longer in control. The river carries us farther down the stream of transformation than we plan to go. Its waters have a special gift for reflecting back to us a new and dreamlike vision. Once the tears have passed, we see ourselves as we haven't before. With a little more lightness, grace, and fluidity. Keep in mind, the you that stands within the river is the real you, full of deep emotions and potential. Nothing to hide, nothing to judge. Oh my God, y'all. But the judge is the next card in the heart of the source. Whew. You make drink. In the sight of your true self. Wow. Woo. When I hold it up here for you, so you can look at the card and visualize and see what it is that you see. Now, the karmic board is a congregation of spiritual beings dedicated to um, implementing the law of cause and effect. They have the capacity to help us overcome any karmic blockages that are affecting us. We can call on them to bring healing into our energy field and to clear away any patterns that are standing in the way of our experience of love and expression of our life purpose. And I was just, I've begun <laughs> the reading out with just this. Karmic blockages are often misunderstood. 
Many people think that the blockages is a punishment for their bad choices or um, wrongful behavior, but it's not. Source is always on our side. It wants us to have a positive experience here on earth, but it also honors our choices and experiences, and sometimes these result in karmic blockages. It's important to know that many of these blockages are actually created by innocent choices. For example, continually letting someone's bad behavior or mistreatment of us slide because we really want to see the good in them or choosing not to let love in because there was a part of us that was scared of the unknown. Whew. How did I know that these cards were going to come out with that, what I just, what I opened up with? All right. And remember, this is messages for me, just like it's for you, boo. And we have to understand. You know, just because we go into hermit mode and we separate ourselves from people, that doesn't equate to healing. I keep telling y'all, it's in this time that you need to reflect back on your past, right here in Gemini. This is what it's all about, to really pay attention to those fears and let go and allow love to come in. So that you can have that experience that you long for. And I know it's easier said than done. But one of the ways to do this is to separate yourself from people that hold on to that negative energy that you're trying to release. You got to separate yourself. And yes, it does get lonely. Nobody says it's going to be easy. Because you are the heart of the source. Are the heart of source. And I'm trying to find it, if I can find it, y'all. <laughs> Because you know I can't see. Eh, where is it, spirit? The tools? No. I'm looking in the um, cells and I don't see it. The threshold? Eh, let me see. No, no, we ain't got another page. Maybe I can pause the video until I find it. Let me do that. So I'm going to keep y'all waiting too long. Y'all believe this? I'm looking for the hardest source in this book. And it's <laughs> the judge I'm supposed to be looking for. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Don't judge me, y'all. <laughs> I'm talking about, I'm looking. I'm like, what in the world is going on? Now the judge. Now that's the animal. What page was it? Just seen it, y'all. 89. And I like that it's black and white. Got a little yellow there, though. Now, the judge has an incredibly important job. They work every working hour of every day, helping us discern what is safe, true, and just. When this archetype remains unconscious or is captivated by fear, wise discernment turns into painful judgment of self and others. Ironically, the judge energy can be the seed of racism, bigotry, and fear mongering. Now, then I'm not just, I keep telling y'all the judge 
card keep coming up, and I keep talking about this very thing. This is the judge of out of balance, building walls, separating from others. When this same discerning force is made conscious and healed, however, the judge may be found advocating for civil right causes, standing up for, un for the underdog, providing resources for those in need, and forgiving again and again. Love is the deciding factor, awakening this archetype. Get your judge in order. The world needs it. And again, forgiving it does not mean to be complacent in toxic relationships. I understand. Choose your battles. Because I know a lot of times people like to say they love unconditionally and stay in toxic relationships. But that's not what this is saying. It's telling you to understand the part that you played in it. In the same way that you want to be forgiven for your um, transgressions, you should do the same for others. Now, I know that that's a slippery slope and, you know, I get it. But you know what I mean. Now, I know that there's nothing out there perfect. And there are some things that you can forgive, you know. Yeah, people make mistakes and things of that nature. But it all depends on what the behavior is, if it's consistent. And I'm not talking about cheating either. That's just a deal breaker. Understand. It's a deal breaker for me anyway. Eighty-five. Be the leader of your own discernment. You know what's good for you, what's not good for you. You know who has your best interests at heart. People, places, or things. Now, the source of the universe is a gigantic heart. It beats our angles and beings of light. It is what many all call God. It's love that is beyond gender and dogma. It's the infinite experiencing infinity. It's all that is, was, and ever will be. It's love being love and expressing love. It's an energy that can be explained but never fully comprehended. It's where we have all come from and will all return. The strangest part of all is that we've never left, even though we are spiritual beings having a human experience and may feel that source is separated from us. The truth is that we're all connected, even when we feel we're not. This gateway takes us not upward, but inward. It's the gateway that reminds us that through the star gate of our heart, we are connected to the heart of creation. Not only that, but we exist and express ourselves within that heart. Even though we may be on planet Earth and experiencing Earth as a planet within the Milky Way, all of this is more, all of this and more is actually being expressed by the heart of Source, the vastness of divine love and inexplainable but it's who we are the vastness of this divine love is ex unexplainable but it is who we are right here with the judge and you know whew, I think that's the biggest shallow part of ourselves that we really need to try to tackle the judgment I mean when it comes into your mind when you begin to judge ask yourself why I do it all the time 
And when I see it coming up, I ask myself, why did I just think that? <laughs> Not that I necessarily had to express it to anybody, but it was the thought. And that's a part of the program that we need to try to uh, unravel and undo. Now, I'm not saying that it's wrong to be aware of people's behavior, but, you know, sometimes the judgment is, is, is cray-cray. Wait a minute, now let's read the, now I think the forest, we're going to read it though, just so we clear, until we get to the tower, and we can figure out what's going on. The places, okay, 135. Consider for a moment your earliest memory of the forest. It's likely it included all the mythic dynamics of this archetype space. A little fear, a little enchantment, perhaps losing your way, perhaps discovering a secret mystical treasure. Such is the magic of the forest. It requires first that you enter it. And then that you get lost within it. It's just like being born. Coming into this world. Into this space. Into this realm. You may think there is a path to lead you straight through. But soon enough you'll be on what is known as the pathless path. There are tricksters here. Dents. And entanglement. But equally present are the glimmers of fairy light and friends among the trees. You're on an adventure now, and there's no turning back. So embrace the dim light and the moving shadows, whether literal or imaginable. Brave the forest and get lost getting found. Wow. I can't wait to see what this says. Then we're going to try to tie it all together, y'all. I don't even know if I could explain these cards without, even though I don't know them. I don't know if I could have explained it as the way it's written. You know, I just have a little problem with it. The way it was written. I don't know. Well, I'm able to blurt it out now. I told you. I think it was meant for me to save these cards for a time such as this. That's crazy. Now it says, the Stellagate Gateway is the highest of the chakras and is found about 12 to 24 feet, 3 to 6 meters above our head. It is the energetic gateway that connects us with the divine matrix. It governs our connection to the spiritual laws of creation and the quantum fields and holds our life potential. As it holds all intentions that we set before this incarnation and all the intentions we've set during it that support the ever unfolding path of our earthly experience. Energetically, this portal is beyond time and space. And when we connect with it, we come into alignment with all the aspects of our soul's journey including when we 
were part of the cosmos. This card transports us to Stargate. This card transports us to a Stargate that has a giant pyramid within it. Above the Stargate, there are three dimensional images of Thoth, the former priest king of Atlantis, who was one of the ancient masters holding the secrets of the universe. This image is a reminder of our potential and of our ancient and starry connections. The pyramid is a symbol of rising power and how our souls has existed through lifetimes. The Stargate is a projection of our own stellar gateway. This card is therefore a reminder that all things are possible and that the um, right alignment we can draw the powers of heaven down to earth in order to create heaven upon earth. Hmm. Now it's so crazy that it's making me, it didn't make me pay to it attention to the other messages and the um, other readings, but it's making me pay attention to it in this card. And it says, this is your message. Now it says, you are a master of manifestations. Every one of your thoughts, actions, non-action, and choices is affecting and holding, unfolding. Wait a minute, let me say it again, y'all. You are a master of manifestation. Every one of your thoughts, actions, non-actions, and choices is affecting the unfolding of your path. Realize that you have great potential and power within you, and, and through your focused awareness, you can draw on heavenly support to create the life of, the wild, of your wildest dreams. Know that all the energies you connect with are carried up to the study of the gateway, and if they are aligned with the intentions your soul had before your incarnation, opportunities will come your way. It is important to consider connecting with your cosmic origins at this time and also tracking down the intentions of your soul. For if you can bring your wishes in this life together with your pre-life intentions, you can live the life that is aligned with your highest heavens. Right out here. And what is your call, your soul calling you to do? This is the world. Now, because this is the first card, a lot of you guys don't want to do some type of cleansing. Now, I'm assuming that this is the energy that we're in. I know I am. I know I am. We all do it, and that's what we need to pay attention to. The fear, the judge. You know? Thinking things ain't gonna turn out right. Whatever your uh, fear may be. And we have more than one. Past mistakes, our own judgment. Sometimes we're our worst critics. The self. Feeling less than. Not worthy. Fear of success. It's a thing. Now this is your card. I ain't even using this deck either though. This is your higher self has always been with you. Ready for you to come into alignment. To find your way, Dorothy. Ain't using these cards because they too beat up. They go to judge at this one. Here we go to start. Right here on this karmic board clearing in the river. And look who's showing up at the bottom of the deck. Shh. 
I want to just say that anybody that's on this journey, hero's journey, I want to call it, it, this got to be you. It got to be. There's no way in the world that you don't have so much love in yourself that you want to express and share. Because if you didn't, you'll be out there in the streets with the rest of them food. Anybody that go in a hermit mode got to love themselves. But in hermit mode, it's not, you know, working on itself. It's just separating yourself. But you got to be willing to go back out there. I love when the King of Pentacles show up. It just gave me high vibrational energy, boo. Telling you to live your truth. Rewrite your story. That's what it say. Karma boy clearing. Very good. I think you're doing that. And being dedicated to it. To come about that. The fear. We all have it. We all experience it. That's why they push it out here. Pull it on your energy right now to keep you in fear. It, I, it have, it, I don't know how long. <laughs> it haven't been this intense in a while. It's intense. Just paying attention to all the um, drama that's going on with the uh, YouTube content creators that promote that cover, you know, Hollywood. Yeah, it's crazy. Look at this here. And then even want to go back in the deck. I just love it. I just love it. The masculine and the feminine right out there. And y'all gonna push through this. And yeah, it's rough, but you gonna get through it. I'll tell you one thing. I won't want to do that. Nope. I won't want to do that. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do it. Now let's make me pay into uh the nostalgia card next to the judge. But let's see. But the sun is here. Is that you making an offer to your to your lower self to bring peace into the situation? Seeing the light blue. Seeing the error in your own ways. Because that's what it's really about. Not pointing out other people's shortcoming but your own now I like this but let's see what the last star is gonna be because we got one more to put on down here Because I can see you reflecting on um, 
your own shortcomings as well as family. And they came out together, and this is here with the son. Dang. Yeah, somebody working up working, and, and doing a little bit of self-reflection in regards to pain. Look like you're moving on, too. And look what you're moving to. Can't tell me. And I'm telling you, the energy want to keep you stuck in fear of moving on. This is it. This is what they came out together. That's the Kundalini rising because that's going on this car. But anyway, we was talking about this infinite potential. Now, this is a lot of wisdom here. Now, you can feel like you were stabbed in the back, but you're looking at it. You're paying attention to the part that you played into, into the situations as well. But I like this card because this is an end. This is growth because this is here. And this, you moving away from that. But yeah, this is you. Let me go back to it. Now, this is the king. Now, he's looking all the way down here. This You can look at this person as in their um, base chakra, root chakra. But coming out here in the forest, you know, with infinite possibility, creativity. And you're looking at it. I think you're paying attention to it. Because this is what's on the other end of that thing, boo. You already had it all the time. Well, yeah, do a lot of programming and, and being misled. We lost our way, but we're going to find our way back home, Dorothy. Yep, and let's say leadership. At the community and over that past. That's what you're looking at. That's what you're looking at. Yeah, it's an end to that. You see? Oh, um, I had did a reading the other day in uh. Spirit told me that this was the angel of that car when it was together. After I did the reading. Yeah. Sad to say, but it's true. Board clearing as well as the river. And what did I say? When I opened up, some people coming up out of the river and some people going in. I'll take this one first because it hit first. Crossroads, but the judge 
and the Queen of Cups is here. Now we've seen the King. He's taking action though. Get the sword. The sword is coming down on the deception, y'all. Now I want y'all to pay attention to these two. That right there energy is being watched. Now you might be at a crossroads in regards to your past and what's going on, why you're experiencing the energy that you're in. But I think the cards explain that. And there's a lot of cleansing going on. Now, I think it, because the source is so relevant, right up under, it's like you got all, all, everything at the bottom of the deck is sword. And remember that the mind. That's why this right here was speaking about your crown. What you can have is I stopped on that. It looked like you're moving forward, though. Now, this could also indicate connecting. Because, you know, I like uh, that card. A lot of people don't like it, but I like it. Because that is that connection. It's duality, in my opinion. Because it says, tell me truths. You know? It can mean so many things. But it's a choice that you have to make. How are you going to proceed? You're going to heal? You know, it's making me think about what I always say, that people don't like to wear their heart on their sleeve. But it's always the devil on that side and the angel on that side. They on the sleeves, right? It's so funny how people can ne would never say that they would wear their heart on their sleeve, but they uh, 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 bark at you in a, in a minute. It's not it's not hard or difficult for me to show you my aggression, but my vulnerability it is. That need to come into balance. You ever you need to be able to tell people what you don't like and what you do like. That don't make me feel good. I don't like when you talk to me like that. Whatever it is. Now, I ain't never had a problem with that. <laughs> now, did I continue to be in some toxic relationship? Yeah. But I sure told her be how I felt. Should I have left a long time ago? Yep. Do I understand the part that I played in it? Yep. Do I pay attention to the red flags in myself and in others? Yep. This your last card. And dig the sun on the house, in the home. Things coming to light. That's you having the courage to go back out there in the forest, boo. Right there. Now, it looks like somebody might be taking the leap of faith to come towards somebody. They want to communicate. Look at this. Could be a new beginning. Could be so many things. But it looks like it's all good to me. Things that you've been working on, paying off. Yeah, come up out of that. You're moving on from that. I see you, boo. I see you. I see you. A lot of y'all. Y'all doing it. You should give yourself a pat on the back. It's time to fall in love with you.
eight of two cards. Anna and Aizma. I, I think that's how you say it. Sorry if I said it wrong, y'all. <laughs> Now it says, you have been using your sixth sense recently, your intuitive powerhouse, your third eye, and it's guiding you in the in, it's guiding you in the right direction. Now we was talking about the third eye here, because this is the last card, and you have been. You've been paying attention. And you know what's going to be happening? I'm talking about when people come at you with the BS, you're just going to be looking at them like they straight crazy, like... Like the insult to your um intelligence is going to be, <laughs> you're going to be like, really? You understand? It's just like the BS is just not flying no more, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. You're going to see through these people so clearly. And it always has been there. We just failed. We just ignored it. You know, going along to get along. You know, hoping that it will work out or whatever. But this time, you ain't going to be doing that. I'm trying to tell you. You're going to be saving yourself a lot of pain. Yeah, that was a download. And it says, your third eye sees far beyond your two eyes and the limitations of your mind, which can only dream up what is known. Your intuition speaks to you in whispers and visions and feelings. Yes. Find the language of your third eye and continue to follow its hunches as you have been. The more you become aware of it, the easier the dialogue becomes. Pay attention. I'll be paying attention. Your third eye is taking you on the very journey that your soul was put here on this planet to fulfill. You came here to live, love, and learn. As long as you continue viewing the world from your third eye, you will surpass all limitations and find your limitlessness. Trust your intuition and keep moving forward. The path will continue to illuminate as you take steps. Not isolation, but these crazy people out here be telling you to do. Stay in hibernation and hermit mode. Mm -hmm. You don't learn nothing behind the door. Now, I know it's too hot outside. <laughs> we'll go outside when it's a little, when the sun goes down. <laughs> Walk around the block. So, all right, look. Now, let's see what this guy is talking about. Where are you? Eighty seven. I just read the first sentence, and it says, You have been observant of how your thoughts affect your actions and how your actions reflect the quality of your life. Through actually, through actively changing your entire internal myelog, you are manifesting, manifesting a heightened state of consciousness and a new paradigm. Continue to fine-tune your inner language to radiate compassion, joy, and peace. Even the most disciplined yogis still often look in the mirror and think negative thoughts about themselves, get frustrated when stuck in traffic, or speak words to a loved one that don't radiate pure love. These moments are your guru, reminding, reminding you of where you still need to grow. Overcome your triggers, facilitates growth, 
Each time you feel the voice of your negative come through, sing back to the words of compassion. You quickly find these words echo back by all those you encounter. Did I not just say that? Right here. On the forest. Going back out. They get getting it back out there. Paying attention to when you become the judge. Even if you're viewing something on TV. <laughs> it's most of the time when mine's coming in. But I'm like, God darn. Now, I'm not saying it's nothing wrong with calling people on their BS, but when you know when it's just crazy, 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 you did know, like, yeah. Well, stuff that just don't make no sense. Why you judging this person like that? Yeah, things like that. We all do it. All right, boo. Now, that's your message, but you growing on up, Dorothy. Finding your way home. Like you see on the next one. Hit that like button and share that video.